Bug out moto. Watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Hey folks, if you miss a tour of my bug out moto van, click below to watch now. <laughs> You guys here at Cabello's, I don't know what city I'm in. I think on the outskirts of Nebraska or, or not far from Wyoming. And Cabello's, they allow RVs and stuff and they have facilities here for for uh, campers and whatnot. RV dump and water station, sick. It's recommended that you obviously buy something here to support this setup. This is a nice setup they have over here at Cabello's. I can tie the dog up here to the bench so she can be free. And uh, I can get some work done, eat my breakfast here. And, uh, and then I can fill up with water. They have water, free water fill up over there. Out here out west watching a western while well, fixing me something to eat. Damn. Hey guys. Heading to Wyoming here, finally. Dude, I'm having withdrawal right now from riding my, my, my baby, my WR 250 fucking R, I tell you man. Okay, here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Damn, sun is so bright in my eyes. Can't see shit, man. This kind of reminds me of Colorado. Oh, uh, here in Wyoming somewhere, man. Looks like a fucking western out here, dude. I just got done watching a western. It's nice out here. Kind of cool, but nice. Yeah. I saw a cowboy ride uh, on his horse. Hey, Skittles. You like Wyoming? Skittles. Go pee pee. Go on. Go boom boom. Go boom boom. Beautiful scenery out here, driving scenery out here in uh, Wyoming. I said this is my first time out here, man. This is this is awesome. It's awesome to explore a, a new area that you've never been to before. Hey guys, I'm in Rock Springs, Wyoming. I'm gonna stay at this um uh, Comfort Inn and Sweets in the back. It's got a nice little uh, Some grass in the back where I can walk the dog. I'll back it up so that way I can slip in slip out with the dog Hey guys, I'm stealth camping here in a hotel parking lot in Rock Springs, Wyoming I only pull up two channels here But anyways, I'm gonna show you how I make Cycle Cruises famous chili you need two cans of chili beans, which this is half the serving size by the way normally I do four cans of chili beans and two cans of tomatoes so, but I'm just using one and two uh, tomato uh, excuse me ketchup ground bison this is a pound but I'm only going to use half a pound of it that's all I need green pepper and onion which I'm going to mince these these are already washed by the way and I have McCormick organic chili powder you can use any chili, chili powder you want you want to just put this on a medium heat Go ahead and put the top on and let that let that brown and once that browns and uh, you see the fat separate then I'm gonna pour the, the fat in the garbage bag uh, strain it should I say strain the fat okay now it's ready for the vegetables okay now put the top on let the veg vegetables soften up a bit. Then you put in the uh, the seasoning, which I just put in the chili powder, and I put in some black pepper. Tomatoes in. Put the beans in. Put some ketchup. Mix it up and then let it cook. And let's put the top on. 
just let it let it uh, uh, simmer for probably a good 20 minutes or so and then bada boom bada bang look at that and then it's done now look at that it look pretty doesn't it that psycho cruise is hearty chili you know what though this is a bad idea to eat this before I go to bed man cuz I'm gonna be cracking some wind man <laughs> you ain't gonna like it are you I'm gonna be fart it's gonna be stanking up the joint well at least I got that got that vent here going so that I can keep the ventilate the smell out of here so that doesn't make, up wake you up there you don't like farts do you skittles skittles she said no nah, man don't be farting up in here man stinking up the joint them beat them stanky bison chili farts you know <laughs> she said hell no man <laughs> Nasty bastard, don't be farting up in here. <laughs> Look at that big old bowl of chili, man. I'm gonna be cutting it loose tonight, boy. Skittles ain't gonna like it, but that's too bad, because I got to eat. Alright, let's try it out, y'all. Look at that. Mmm! Oh, shit! Got that Wyoming bison in there. Mm. Good. Got that kick too, boy. That's good. That's good shit. Looks like a freaking desert out here. Look at that, man. Single wides. It's a lot of communities of uh, of these mobile homes. See a lot of four by four vehicles out here. There's fireworks right there. Got an old school class CRV. Look like the Bates Motel or something there, man. Hey, it's not windy. People always talk about how it's windy out here all the time. Not a no wind right now. I guess people don't have nothing else to do around here but set fireworks off, man. <laughs> and four by four, which I'd rather be four by four. Out here on 191, headed to Yellowstone, the south entrance. Man, I tell you, a lot of Wyoming, at least this part of it, sure looks like a wasteland out here. Just straight up desert. They get too... Holy shit! Aw, oh, man, I just got this damn windshield. Every time I come out here to the Rocky Mountains, I get nailed. Bullshit, man. Pulling off the beaten path here, man. Oh, is this somebody's residence? I better get out of here before I get shot, man. Fucking around in somebody's place. <laughs> I'm gonna go over there to that, that abandoned house over there. It's all boarded up though, so I ain't gonna be able to... I'm not gonna trespass, man. But I'm gonna go check it out. This looks like some, some, um, the Waltons and shit, man. <laughs> Good night, John boy. Could you guys live out here or what, man? I bet you at night it's like pitch black out here, ain't it? It's just so different out here, man. It's awesome. The town of Eden. Population 281 people. Hey, it's got a little church. Cool little town, man. Yeah, it's got two churches. Tonk cowboy out here roaming around in fucking Wyoming. Think I was, is this beautiful or what? I wish I was on my motorcycle right now driving through this. Look at the beautiful fall colors here in Wyoming. Oh, the air is so fresh and pure. I love it, man. This is what I'm talking about here, guys. This is what I love, man. This is where my soul is. Just love, love, love the mountains. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gotta love the mountains. Look at these twisties, man. Damn. I should be riding my motorcycle on this. It's twisty action, man. This sucks, dude. I'm missing out on some serious action here. It's scenery. Look at that. Wow, this is a cool little town. Grand Teton probably saying it wrong as usual 
Hey, check it out. You can get old time photos here. They got it looking like the uh, the Wild West. Old school looking buildings. I like it. It's got character. Look at that. Caught a rainbow. People would have to pull over on the side to film the buffalo. Look at that. <laughs> Are the fall colors beautiful or what? I love fall. Best time of the year. Hi, right. sir. Good, and yourself? Good. Um, are any campsites open at all? There are in our park. Oh, okay. Great. Nine miles ahead of Coulter Bay. Okay. Um, it's $30 to come in the park. Okay, I, I have a dog. I know you can't take them on the trails or whatot. Right. Um, but it's okay to have one just yes, within the road. Yes, they just have to be on a leash. Okay. Wow, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? That is spectacular. Wow. That is beautiful. Oh, it's closed mammoths to Norton, all lodging full. Campgrounds. Closed, 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 full. Open. The only one open is Lewis Lake. Okay, we have to go to Lewis Lake Campground, 12 miles. Okay, I'm at the Lewis Lake Campgrounds here. And this is where I'll hopefully I'll be staying. Otherwise, I don't know where the hell I'll be going. All right, Lewis Lake Ranger Station. Damn, people got campfire rolling and everything. All right, I guess this is my campsite. Here in Yellowstone. Got a picnic table. Got a uh, fire pit there. Oh, man. It's cold up here. Feels like it's about, I don't know, probably like 40 something degrees, 50 degrees. Be prepared to encounter bears. Carry bear spray and know how to use it. No shit, Sherlock. Hiking groups of three or more people. I'm not hiking. Fuck that. Uh, not by myself. I, other people I would, but make noise to avoid surprise encounters. Never run from a bear. They have an instinct to chase. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably run. I'd be like, fuck it. I'm going to take my chance man I ain't sticking around and get my ass messed up to have a, a end up having a real fucked up day keep food and trash and bear proof storage no problems here keeping it in the van animals are dangerous no shit Sherlock do not approach or feed any animal and there's a lot of doofuses that do and they're retarded bison bears and elk have injured and killed people no shit Stay a hundred yards from bears and wolves. How in the hell are you going to measure how many fucking yards you are away from bears and If you see a bear and wolf, they're coming to you. You're not coming to them. Stay 25 yards from all other animals. Do not stop on or block a road. Use pullouts. Stay in your car to watch animals. You're responsible for your safety. No, I thought you guys were responsible for my safety, so I could sue you if I get mauled by a bear. <laughs> I guess I'll uh, start editing my video, fix dinner, go to bed, wake up early so that I can get my bike out and go motor vlog here in Yellowstone. Hey, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized into various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. Hey, subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. And I appreciate all you guys. Check out my other channel, Cycle Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.